Well, Kylian Mbappé has been uh, chatting on his vacation in New York. He said, of course, the Champions League is the goal. This is a clear and announced objective, getting back to the basics and then trying to conquer Europe. This past season, we weren't as fearsome. We were far less untouchable. We want to get back and being intimidating in France, something we haven't done these past two years. They haven't done that, at least with Mauricio Pochettino. In Mbappé's opinion, Frank, could they do that with Christophe Galtier now? Awfully, yes, you know, um, Christophe Galtier and uh, Luis Campos have been working together in Lille and, uh, and, um, and Galtier won the, uh, the League One uh, because of, the, uh, of the, um, the seriousness that he put uh, onto the players and, uh, and the, the will of uh, beating everybody. And that's what's have to happen to, uh, to PSG players. And Galtier was going to make sure that in the dressing room they're going to listen to him and they're going to give their, the best that they have to give when they play even in Lorient or with all due respect or Strasbourg and some other uh, smaller uh, call smaller teams. So that's th the main problem for Paris Saint-Germain is to achieve the, the, the game, to do well, to make sure that you, you, want to, you want to win because you want to be professional. It will serve you when you're going to play Champions League games as well. Uh, that's the main concern that everybody has about Paris Saint-Germain. The fact that sometimes they've never been, I would say, as professional as they mm -hmm. should have been. And, uh, and uh, everybody wants to see that. And uh, I, I'm glad to see that Mbappé is concerned about that. Yeah, absolutely. Especially after deciding to stick around with PSG. So, Stevie, is he admitting that cruising in La Ligue 1 hasn't benefited them for the Champions League? Probably, yeah. Which... To be fair, is, is, I mean, it's something we all know. Yeah. You can't just cruise and then all of a sudden change gear whenever you fancy it. Mm -hmm. It doesn't work that way and football doesn't work that way. I, I'm interested to see how this Galti gets on. I heard Frank talking about him previously and Frank says he doesn't care what name's on the back of the jersey. If they don't pull the weight, they're not playing. Now, that seems the way to go. The problem is... And, and at times, even in Champions League, Messi's Me uh, Messi, Neymar and Mbappe didn't do the defensive duties. Mm -hmm. For whatever reason. If you don't play these three guys, you're going to have some problem in your dressing room. Yeah. So I understand that that maybe is a way to go. Yeah. But I think the problem is, if you've got three guys not pulling their weight and you're the type that does that... A, do you pull the three of them or do you pull one of them? And if you pull one of them, I mean, it's just, it's got chaos written all over it. So I'm interested to see how it works, to be honest. Yeah, a headstrong manager may be needed when dealing with someone like Neymar, Shaka. Yeah, you, you, you have to. And, and it's the one thing, well, let, let me know it's the one thing that PSG haven't had because, in all honesty, PSG have had some incredible managers over the years and they mm -hmm. failed to deliver the Champions League mm -hmm. um, thus far. The, the one consistent thing with, with, with PSG is it seems every offseason everybody knows absolutely the right thing to say and, and Kylian Mbappe doing exactly that yet again so um, I'm sorry I, I listen I knew new new manager new attitude new culture around the club they're saying the right things but we've kind of been here before let's get the season started see how PSG equip themselves because uh, I've, I've, I've seen this movie one too many times. Yeah, and lately maybe as well with uh, Neymar. But uh, Frank, how can Galtier now deal with uh, somebody who needs to come back, needs a renaissance of source? It's going to be a hard task, that's for sure. And everybody, as, uh, as Shaka said, I've seen that uh, over the past years, uh, it's been very hard, even impossible to, uh, to cop uh, with um, some characters of some players inside the dressing room. And if you don't put them on the, in the lineup every game, they're going to complain to the, the, the president. They're going to maybe don't, even not showing up. Uh, they, 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 don't, they do whatever they want. So hopefully, Galtier is going to find the words or find the attitude to push Neymar to his best because that's for the, the, the best of everybody. You know, if Neymar plays like he used to play when he was for playing for Barcelona, 
which I still doubt that he still can do. Uh, that would be for the best of Paris Saint-Germain and for Neymar and for Galtier. So that's going to be a psychological um, conversation that Galtier will have to have with Neymar to make sure that first he gives his best and second he doesn't put a mess inside the dressing room if he doesn't pick him. Yeah, and they have to confide now in their manager in general, but especially uh, Shaka in a World Cup year. Yeah, I, I listen, there's a lot at stake for, for a lot of these players. Um, mm -hmm. Given, given the, the high-profile nature of, of, of the players that PSG have at their disposal, whether we're talking Kylian Mbappe, who's, who's become the leader of, the, of this dressing room, or we're talking about Lionel Messi or Neymar and, and their own uh, respective objectives with their national teams and, and how they have become the, the leaders of, of, of their national teams as well. So it's, it's a lot at stake and, and a lot that... We've not seen enough of Lionel Messi in terms of his performances for PSG. We've heard a little bit too much of Neymar and his poor performances yeah. for, for PSG. So it, it's a, a big opportunity for a number of, of, of players, a number of people within that club and that dress room to get things right. Yeah. At, least in the, uh, at least to start things, at least to, to stamp that, that authority as to who they, who they are and who they intend to be not just domestically, uh, but, in, but in, in, in Europe. But I, I will remain a cynic until, until they <laughs> prove me differently. Yeah, and Gantier could, could use this as a motivation. Could be Messi's last World Cup. Mm. Mbappe uh, already won it, but Neymar trying to come back for Brazil, Stevie. Mm. You know, of those, of those three you're talking about, I, I think the only one that my money's on to be at it from the get-go is Messi. The other two, I'm not so sure. Mbappe hasn't convinced me that he's matured enough that he's a guy that does what Messi does. What Messi does is every single time he goes on the field, he's at it. Now, has he been at his best? No. But I don't think you can question his attitude. I'm not so sure about Mbappe and Neymar. Mm. I, I, I really not. And I think there are a lot of players who will have a lot of motivation to get to, get to the World Cup sides when it comes along. People like Gareth Bale, for example, mm -hmm. will be so motivated because of the World Cup. Mm -hmm. I, don't, I can't see Neymar and Mbappe yeah. thinking that way because they're going. Yeah. Unless they fall and, and lose a leg, they're going. So I'm not so sure that my money's on the two of them being at it straight away. Uh, I can understand Neymar, maybe Messi, when he already said he wanted to leave Barcelona, still performing for the team at the moment. But my question to you, Frank, is, is Stevie being fair to Mbappe? Oh, unfortunately not, is what I think. <laughs> I think uh, um, when I saw, and I saw, and I'm sorry, Stevie, but I saw last season, I saw the first game of, uh, of Messi, and when I went there, Mbappe was booed because already some talks were said, saying about, uh, about the fact that he could go to uh, Real Madrid, that he could not sign a, a new contract for Paris Saint-Germain. And he showed so much character, he showed so much love for the club that he was playing for, that I have no doubt that because of the pressure that he has now to uh, be successful because he decided to sign for PSG, will not push him to give his best. And I absolutely persuaded that he will do so because he proved me last season that he was the leader. Everybody was expecting Messi because he came. Everybody was and is still uh, looking for uh, a renaissance of Neymar, but nobody expected what Mbappe did last season and the amount of goals and the fact that he, he lead he led the, the Paris Saint-Germain last season. And because of him, uh, they had a decent season, I would say, uh, but he couldn't do everything, of course. Frank, I'm glad you brought that up because I guess I didn't make it clear what I was thinking. Mm -hmm. And that was kind of my point. Because people were sticking their finger in his face yeah. and booing him and everything else motivated him to be the player he was. I'm worried now that that's not going to be there. Thanks so much for watching ESPN on YouTube. And for more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for premium content and live streaming, subscribe to ESPN+.